Hello and welcome back to your own channel Indian Defense Analysis where we bring to you all the latest development happening in the defense sector. Launched in 2015, the 6.8 billion dollar KF21 project is aimed at developing 4.5th generation supersonic fighter jet. It is an attempt by South Korea to become self-reliant in fighter jet development which at present heavily relies on US built fighter jets. It currently operates huge fleet of US F4 Phantom 2, F5 Tiger 2, F15E Strike Eagle, F16 Fighting Falcon and F35 Lightning 2. The pace at which the program is progressing is really commendable. Till now South Korea has conducted more than 100 flight tests on 5 prototypes since aircraft's maiden flight on 19 July 2022 The South Korean firm KAI has planned to make six prototype of KF21 with total 2000 tests to be conducted by 2026 From 2026 to 2028 KAI has planned to manufacture the initial units of KF21 Block 1 South Korea is expecting to have at least 40 of the new fighter jets combat ready by 2028 and 120 by 2032. Till now, South Korea has built 5 prototypes which includes 4 single seater and 1 twin seater aircraft. The fourth prototype is the twin seater variant. Recently, that is on 16th May 2023, The fifth KF-21 prototype made its maiden flight. This prototype will be used to conduct avionics performance verification tests such as the AES radar and is scheduled to conduct aerial refueling tests in the second half of 2023. Now talking about the KF-21 fighter jet, it is a twin engine 4.5th generation multi-role fighter aircraft. South Korea has sought technology assistance from Saab, Boeing and Lockheed Martin for development of the KF-21. The fighter jet is designed to have stealth capabilities exceeding both the Salt Rafale and Eurofighter Typhoon but less than Lockheed Martin's F-35 Lightning II. This is the reason why it is not considered to be a true fifth generation fighter. It is also expected to be superior to F-16 Fighting Falcon with 50% greater combat range, 34% longer airframe lifespan, better avionics, AESA radar, more effective electronic warfare and detailing capabilities. KF-21 has a length of 16.9 meters, wingspan of 11.2 meters and height of 4.7 meters and wing area of 501 square feet. The empty weight of fighter jet is 11,800 kilograms and gross weight of 17200 kg it has maximum takeoff weight of 25400 kg the fighter jet is powered by 2g f414 after burning turbofan engine with dry thrust of 57.8 kN and 97.9 kN with afterburner the aircraft has a maximum speed of mach 1.81 the fighter jet will have an aes radar developed by hanwa systems with assistance from Israel's Elbit system the radar is expected to match up the performance of F35 KF21 is capable of carrying up to 7.7 tons of weapons and fuel under its wings and fuselage the KF21 block 1 will not have an internal weapons carriage which is planned for subsequent production blocks the initial version will also lack air to ground striking capability since the home grown long range air to ground missile is to be developed by mid of 2020s the fighter jet will have 10 hard points six underwing four under fuselage it can carry various air to air missiles such as mbds meteor aim 120 amram short range infrared homing air to missiles irst aim sidewinder etc in air to ground category it can carry taurus kpd 350 cruise missile overall It is going to be a decent 4.5th generation fighter jet which is going to have high maneuverability, advanced weapons from air to air and air to surface missions, features to reduce radar signature and integration of radar and infrared sensors. 
This was today's update. Please let us know your views on this in comment section. If you like the video, do not forget to like, share and subscribe. With this, I would like to say goodbye and Jai Hind. We'll soon back with more interesting and amazing development happening in the defense sector.